joined here by the Cal State San Marcos women's soccer team head coach Bobby Renison, uh, number 26, Devin Kelly, number 14, Claire Hernandez, and number 18, Hannah, Hannah Ramos. 1-0 uh, defeat here to Concordia, the first round of the West Regional. What a game, though, Coach. What a performance your team put on. Uh, just give me some of your opening thoughts on the game here today. Yeah, first of all, I'd just like to thank you know Point Loma for you know hosting and putting on a great event here, and, and congratulations to Concordia. Um, you know they're a really good team, and you know, honestly they're they're one of the best teams we faced all year for sure. And uh, thought it was a great game. I mean. These games come down to one moment, and you know, as we've seen, you know, throughout the conference tournament, throughout postseason play, it's typically just one moment, and whoever capitalizes is going to get on the right side of it. And you know, I felt like we had, you know, a fair amount of looks at it. They had some looks at it too, and you know, full credit to them. But I'm really proud of my team. I mean, this is our kind of our, our you know, initial uh, introduction into this, you know, experience and opportunity. And I thought we handled ourselves really well. You know, the moment wasn't too big for us. The girls were ready to go, fought hard, and. You know, I'm excited for them. I'm super proud of everything that the team group has accomplished. You know, the character quality and, and the work ethic in this team has been top notch, you know, every day. And uh, I'm just super proud of, you know, what we were able to accomplish, you know, not only today, but throughout the season for sure. Well, and Devin, talk about your team defensively. You had 13 shutouts this year and kept them scoreless all the way until the 103rd minute. What did you see out of your team's defense today? I mean, I saw the same thing that I've seen all season long, right? It's not just the back four. It's all 30 people that are on our team. I've said it before, like we pride ourselves on shutout soccer and um, we, we went undefeated. I mean, all season long, all conference long. And that's like a really, really awesome accomplishment to hang your hat on. But like I said, it's not just the back line. It's 30 strong. Everyone is always working their butt off to get back behind the ball to encourage everybody. We're always celebrating each other. And like, that's all it takes for defense. It doesn't take a certain person. It doesn't take a back line. It takes the whole team. And, and that's, that's what we have this year, so. Well, Claire, talk about uh, the physical battle there in the midfield. I mean, you were involved very much in stopping their attacks throughout the game, but it seemed like it was a very physical game. Between the two teams. Yeah, it was pretty physical. I mean, it was a little tricky for us to figure out at first. Um, props to Concordia. They have a really good midfield. And obviously, as Coach was saying, a pretty good team and re really proud of, proud of them for that. But um, in the midfield, it was definitely physical, and we had to figure out how to defend them as well. Um, I'm really proud of the way that we handled it, though. I think we had some really good opportunities in the middle, and we were able to disperse the ball really well, even though um, they kind of spread us out a little bit. But I'm really proud of us, and at the end of the day, that's all you can ask for. Everyone put their best foot forward, and you know we just didn't come out on the better end of it. But I'm really proud of us, and that's all that matters. So. Well, and Hannah, as you know, obviously a disappointing end today, but what a season that this team had. I mean, what comes to mind when you reflect on, on the year that this group had? I mean, just proud, honestly, like what they touched on, just proud, worked hard and the determination and everything that our group gave in and the whole, we very much um, value family. And I feel like we carry that on all the way up into this point and just very proud of our group and how much we, we came and yeah, I love these guys so much. <laughs> Coach, how does this experience this year, how does it prep you going into the next year? Well, I mean, the complexion of our team, for the most part, is relatively pretty young. Um, so it, it hopefully believe, uh, breeds a lot of belief. I mean, every year it's a whole new experience. It's a fresh start. It's a new beginning. But at the same time, it, it breeds a kind of a process and a belief in the habits that we ingrain, you know, that's bigger than soccer for sure. And if you stay true to those uh, core values, then it's indicative of giving yourself this opportunity. And, you know, they deserve it. So once again, I mean, in the moment right now, it's, it's kind of hard to look too far ahead. Um, but at the same time, it, it really should just, you know, promote a lot of confidence and belief in terms of, you know, the, the culture and the core values that we have within this program to continue to want to, you know, hold ourselves to a high standard and make the alumni proud and everybody in the university proud as well. So we take that very seriously. And all you seniors, uh, what do you hope, like, is the lasting impact that you have? <laughs> um, I would just say like the joy. This is a really joyful season. Um, it's been a really joyful past five years for me. Like it's, and I, I think that these three right here, our seniors collectively, like have done a really good job at just building that, making it like such a fun family to be a part of, like not taking life too seriously. You know, that was just instilled in our program and, and we came out on the better half because of it. You know what I mean? Like the program continuously got better because of that. So I hope with this young bunch, like they just enjoy it, like celebrate each other, celebrate the joy. I think that's the culture that this group of seniors built. So that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, to kind of go off that, I think we 
talked about it like before every uh, every game and all that in our little huddle that like we play our best when we just have fun and that's what we do we're, we're a funny bunch and i'm really appreciative to be a part of this family for the past four years and we're still a part of it whether we're on the team or not i'm just so excited to continue to watch their games and just watch these girls grow because i'm so proud of them no matter what age they are yeah i mean we're the the covid crew over <laughs> here too so just like looking back at it you know we've accomplished so much and just kind of going off from that and just building and keep it going forward you know just very proud of us well, coach ladies congratulations a wonderful season program history this year looking forward to seeing you all in the future thank you thank, thank you, you.